stop beating around the bush for this video. Dragoon is getting his ass banned, and I have five reasons why, through mathematical, deductive, scientific reasoning and shit, that it's getting banned. And if you guys are ready for today's video, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Let's get a billion thousand likes. And let's get started straight into the video. So, if you're a seasoned vet like myself, I, I have like, 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 I have so many thoughts, bro. I have like one, uh, one thought. But, anyways, I'm a seasoned vet. I don't care about Dragoon. I know how to do it against Dragoon. I've been doing against Dragoon since the beginning of time. But guess what? Look at this guy. Look at this. Look at this guy. This guy fucks, bro. This guy deadlifts 405, squats 405. Fuck, he probably benches more than. He probably benches more than he squats. That's how beast Dragoon is, bro. Okay? This card needs to be bad. This card needs to go. And it's not about me dealing with it. It's about returning players. I hate to offend you watching this right now. But if you clicked on this video about Dragoon getting banned, you probably suck at Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's be honest here. But that's okay. Because it's not. You should probably uh, not suck at Yu-Gi-Oh. But it's okay. Because I know how you don't need to suck at Yu-Gi-Oh. You sign up for my coaching down below. I'm a toppy, And I'll teach you how to destroy Dragoon. Stay hydrated, my friends. Dragoon is an issue. And in this video, I'm going to discuss exactly why. I got five duels. Mathematical fucking proof. Five duels. That's going to showcase exactly why Dragoon needs to be banned. But before we get into that, I have to actually discuss the theory why. Bro, I'm going to discuss five reasons right now why Dragoon should be banned. And then I'm going to show five duels why Dragoon should be banned. So you have to stay tuned for the entire video. Because if you hate Dragoon... Or if you want to sell your Dragoons before the shit gets fucking banned. This is the perfect video for you guys. So stay tuned till the end and let's get straight into it. So, reason number one. Why this piece of shit car is going to get banned. Very simply. Because how do you read the card? That's reason number one. Reason number two. Is, as I told you guys in my last boundless video. My cousin told me he's getting banned. So that's the reason number two is getting banned. Reason number three is very simple. Have you read the card? Reason number four. It can't be targeted or destroyed. Reason number five. It's a negate. It's a negate. Penrose deck. I said five reasons, but I don't care. We're going to vote this round, baby. Ten round, Ten reasons. Ten, re ten reasons, baby. Reason number six. Did you read the fucking card? It can't be targeted or destroyed. Reason number seven. It could destroy two monsters in the field. Easily. Reason number eight. You could summon this with any two monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh. If Dragoon doesn't go, Rute has to go. Reason number nine. It could be summoned with Selene. That's actually a cool reason. That's well, actually the only reason why it shouldn't be banned. So we're not even going to calculate that reason. Actual reason number nine. If pro players, like, if the best players in the world, like, we're talking people on the ranks of, like, Jesse Cotton, Steven J. Trufanoski, because we're the same level of Yu-Gi-Oh! player, obviously, similar tops and shit. If we have trouble dealing with Dragoon, then I sure as hell guarantee that a returning player in Yu-Gi-Oh that barely knows how to Blink Summon or Pendulum Summon is going to have a, the hardest time ever to deal with this card. Do you agree in the chat? If you're watching this right now, and if you consider yourself a returning player in Yu-Gi-Oh that's played in the past, and you've dealt with one of these Red-Eyed Dr. Goons before, comment down below if I'm not speaking absolute facts here. This card is very, very difficult to deal with. In fact, it's an auto-win card. Now I'm going to hit with the biggest bombshell reason number 10 here. Reason number 10 is very simple. In Yu-Gi-Oh, every auto-win single card is banned. Imagine Painful Choice right now. Imagine Painful Choice, send 5 grave, 4 grave effects or whatever. This banned because it's an auto-win spell card. Why is Soul Charge banned? It's an auto-win spell card. Red Eyes Fusion is more powerful than all of these cards. Because you don't need any setup, you don't need anything. You could just splash this in any shit deck, activate Red Eyes Fusion, Every shit deck becomes a great deck. How the hell are you dealing with a Dragoon 
You could actually draw Dark Magician and Red Eyes. Do you have any idea how many decks cannot deal with one Dragoon, especially a returning new player? So now this is going to lead on to the real thing we're going to do here. The real reasoning and mathematical deduction of scientific proof in my laboratory uh, in my Triff Castle of exactly why everything I'm saying here is true. And why this is an auto-win card and activating a Red Eyes Fusion is more powerful than Painful Choice, Pot of Greed, and Graceful Charity all combined in one. Because it's an auto-win win, auto win card, it's a win condition. It's literally a button. You just click, oh, win button, click, and you win the duel. It's not fair. It's unbelievable. And I don't care if people say, wow, Trip, you're crying about Red Eyes Dragoon. Yeah, I am, but it's a fucking crazy card. I'll, I'll, I'll whine about it all day, all right? Because this card should be banned. Now I'm going to get straight into the five duels to showcase exactly why. It's an auto win button. It's literally a button you just click and win. Let's go. Okay, so I want you guys to see this deck I created. This deck has literally no actual strategy aside from activate Red Eyes Fusion or summon Dragoon. Summon Dragoon is the only strategy. You're playing 18 hand traps with some defensive cards, 20 defensive cards, like 15 ways to summon Dragoon. That's the whole strategy behind this deck. It's not an actual deck. It's just win cons of ho I hope to drop Red Eyes Fusion. I don't like to play Yu-Gi-Oh, etc. So now I'm going to showcase this deck. It's shit, right? It's shit in five duels, okay? Let's go. Now, I told you in the beginning that season vets have trouble playing with this. But what about actual returning players, noobs, rookies, whatever you want to call it? I purposely went on Dueling Book and typed in singles, not matches. In singles, you're going to find plenty of noobs. And now I'm going to showcase exactly what I'm talking about. You're going to see my hand. I don't even know if I go first or second here. Five duels. You have to stay tuned to that. Look at my hand. Look at my hand, okay? Active Red Eyes Fusion. Dragoon. Guess what? The duel's over. The duel's over. I don't even need any of these hand traps, to be honest with you. The duel is over. Instantly, it's over. I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. Activates Extravagance for one. I'm like, sure. Duster, sure. No problem, bro. You, I'm just only going to negate some way you have to stop Dragoon. Duality. I'm like, sure. Clearly, he's playing a stun deck. Look at this. Has left the duel. <laughs> if this is not proving my by the way these five duels i'm going to show you i did it all on my twitch in a row i literally logged onto my twitch i made the deck i showed you guys in literally like two seconds and then i just hopped on singles five singles in a row and every five single match that you guys are about to witness right here is the exact same way they realize they have no alter dragoon whatsoever and they auto scoop look at their hand he has no absolutely zero chance to deal with the dragoon whatsoever zero chance i even let everything go and in case he's out i negate it this is why dragoon needs to go returning players rookies new players people that suck ass at Yu-Gi-Oh. i don't know i think i explained it all together uh non-pendulum players they have it's impossible without dragoon now i'm going to showcase the second example here the first example he saw dragoon and he just auto scooped he tried to search an out and he just couldn't there was no out in his deck it was over now we're going to another duel here well don't worry by the way i have a few duels of me going first a few duels of me going second black metal dragon this card's amazing because this card gets Verte anaconda and it gets you red eyes fusion at the end he went first he ended up breaking a bit so i'm he actually went first here i went second he bricked a bit and not that it mattered because i have nibiru imperm skull my double of a skullmeister i would have stopped everything he was doing he tried to ash my Verte. clearly you can't do that and then i go into dragoon now at this point with my opponent bricking what can he do like what can he actually do he, even if he didn't brick, he was dead through Imp Imperm Nibiru Skullmeister. Now this duel is absolutely over. He could be playing any deck in the world, but because and clearly he's a new player because he Ash bosses my birthday, which is not allowed. You're not allowed to do that. So my point is, I'm trying to get across in this video. If you can take anything from it, new players cannot deal with Dragoon. That's why it needs to be banned. The more new players Yu-Gi-Oh gets, the absolutely greater Yu-Gi-Oh will be. The more you new players, the more a uh, bigger Yu-Gi-Oh will be. Uh, the more content that every creator could have, the more big, like the more money Konami will make, the bigger the game will be. It could, this game has potential to be like the biggest game ever. And to have everyone just see Dragoon, scared of it, and just leave, I don't think that's okay. So what happens here? He realizes he has no ultra Dragoon, passes, he just scoops. Scoops instantly. I'm going to show you another example. He has Regeki. He actually has Regeki. What's Regeki doing to a car that can't be destroyed by target, or can't be targeted or destroyed? Another example here. I'm just going to literally just fast forward all the way through. I have five replays here. I'm trying to show you guys that once this card's activated, the duel's over. So he's playing some weird deck here. He's, no, he's not playing weird. So he's playing World Chalice. I'm going to Phantasmate into Nibiru. That's the point. I'm playing a 20 hand trap deck with Red Eyes Fusion Turbo. I'm just going to stop what he's doing and activate Red Eyes Fusion. It's a very simple strategy. Stop what he's doing. I stop his whole play. 
And then I have to activate Red Eyes Fusion and kill him. Look at this. I activate Red Eyes Fusion. Scoop. Over. The duel's over. Dragoon Scoop. This, this card has to go. This card is literally a win condition. Red Eyes Fusion is better than Soul Charge. Red Eyes Fusion is better than Pot of Greed. Red Eyes Fusion is better than Graceful Charity. Red Eyes Fusion is better than all these cards. Because when Red Eyes Fusion resolves and brings out the big boy right here, the duel is absolutely over. Now, don't get me wrong. Some decks could clear Dragoon, no problem. But it is extremely difficult for 80% of decks to even do anything. Look, like, what can he do here? What can he do? There's not, this duel is over. Like, this duel is literally over. There's absolutely nothing he can do. He's playing Dark Magician here. Dark Magician. What's Dark Magician going to do? Look at this. Has left the duel. Has left the duel. Has left the duel before I could even start my turn properly. It's literally just Dragoon. These are all in a row, by the way. Go check out my Twitch down in the description. I literally, my Twitch is in the description. Check out my last VOD that I posted. Or my second last VOD, depending on when you're watching this video. And just look at this. Like, look at this. All these five duels are in a row, real time. I'm not, like, just pinpointing random ones. And before we showcase this last replay, if you guys could smash the subscribe button and like button, I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to check out the links down below, the playmats, I'd really appreciate your help. You guys, the reason I do this, I love you guys. And on Patreon today, I'll be doing a discussion video on Dragoon. So if you guys want to check that out as well, it'll be awesome. All right, let's continue. This will be the very last replay here where I'm showcasing exactly why Dragoon needs to be banned. Look at this. Activate inside. This time I'm playing Drytron. So I'm playing a better deck here. But nonetheless, Drytron is actually one of the decks that can deal with this very easily. Like it's nothing. But we'll see exactly how he, how it performs. I do a slight misplay here. I did I didn't expect him to be playing Drytron, so I probably should have keep the scapegoat in hand or a black metal in hand so I could have a fodder, a discard fodder. But I figured I would Phantasmate in case and I would just discard whatever card I drew. Because scapegoat's like insane. Scapegoat by itself equals like double nightmare phoenix uh, equals Phoenix Cerberus. Like and then access code, and then you get a free dragoon after with whatever card. Uh so he's playing Drytron here. I'm just, he play, he's playing a 60 card deck, so he's playing like a different version. Yeah, I'm gonna let him go off here. Uh, he's playing Verte Anaconda as well. I stop everything, he reborns, he goes Verte, and the only way he, the only, hey, look, he said it best, okay? The only way to beat Dragoon is with the Dragoon. If you can't beat him, join him. <laughs> the only way you can beat Dragoon is a Dragoon. That's insane. And he can't even beat it. He just has to crash both. He has nothing he can negate with his own Dragoon, so he just crashes both. And what's gonna happen? Scapegoat, GG, this duel's over. This is, bro, this duel is over. Red Eyes Wyvern, bring back the Dragoon. Dragoon needs to go. He's playing a trap version apparently. Dragoon just needs to go, man. Dragoon needs to go. Not only is it the Dragoon itself, but you bring back the Dragoon with the Wyvern from Red Eyes Insight. You could bring it back with Selene. Like, Magilized Fusion with another Verte. It's just too powerful. It's just too powerful. That's it. I tribute summon. I, I link. I tribute summon attack for game. This card needs to go. And it's not for, for pro players. It's for returning players and noobs. They can't deal with Dragoon. So I'm telling you guys right now as a fact, Dragoon is getting banned. Welcome to my TED Talk. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you guys got this far, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, I'll post right there. Bah, bah, bah. Smash all the like buttons and shit. And also, if you guys love Dragoon slash hate Dragoon, check out my Patreon down below where I'll be doing an extra discussion on Dragoon on what I truly think is going to happen, which I already told you guys, but just a little extra points on it. Also, check out my coaching down below uh, before it's it's full. Uh, so sign up now and also check out the links down below for beautiful playmats. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And before we end off on this video, you already know the drill, boys. You got to stay hydrated. Look at that shit, bro. Look at it. It's gonna be even bigger soon. Gotta stay hydrated, boys. So before we end off this video in unison, we're all gonna drink this together. I drank a bottle of water earlier in this stream, stream in this video. So now we're gonna chug this last water all together. Cheers. Touchdown. Have a good day, boys. See you in the next video. Peace.